feel like I want to avoid this uh, rift, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of it. Oh, these are... Oh, no, no, no. What is it? What is that? Oh, it's a wraith. Oh, no, no, no. That's not a wraith. What are those things called? Whatever it was, it went down fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it didn't. It's still alive. Oh, no. Wrong one. Wrong one. I need a new staff. Let me tell you something. The things you hear in these headphones, I did not know that voices came out of these rifts. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, pride demon. Charge complete. Charge complete. Oh, he's immune to that? Okay. Come on, you know. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what is he not immune to? Okay, he's... Okay, all right. Okay, you know what? You know what? I haven't stopped playing with y'all. <laughs> Done. All right, let's see what we got. Any good loot? Hmm. Warriors only. Okay, but our inventory is still full. Wait, can I take the... Can I take this? Dang. Okay. I need to do something about my inventory. I should have taken care of that. I can't even take this? Okay, wait a minute now. Okay. Enough is enough. Um... I don't even know what I can accessories. I think we've already done this. We've already established. You know what? Destroy that. Okay, so these things are important. These here. These, when you collect these and you turn them in. And I can't remember the... Um, the tranquil that you turn it into. Turn these into... But basically, when you do that, you learn, like, weaknesses of the other creatures, new creatures, what have you. So those are kind of important to pick up. Yeah. So I'll leave back the ring, whatever. But I honestly don't want to continue be without cleaning out my... Um, clearing out my, my inventory. You know what? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna head back to Skyhold and where's Skyhold? Skyhold, where is Skyhold? Skyhold. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear out my inventory and then we're gonna come back. I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back. This may have been a mistake. I don't know. I, I switched up the party a little bit after I cleared out my my inventory. I kept a couple things in here, but I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, how this makeup's gonna go. Um, with Iron Bull, because Iron Bull tends to be, um, I feel like Iron Bull is one of those, like, glass cannons or what have you. I, I don't know. I just feel like that. I didn't notice him up there. Sorry about the noise. That would be racing. Where did he go? Oh, that's right. Sarah can, uh, cloak. It's nice. All right, so we're good. All right, so we're not even going to try a sneak attack. We're just going to go all out here. Um, is there anything up here? Anything of interest? Scanning. All right. Um, let's get him. Freeman Captain. All right. 
Oh, gosh. Anyways, I figured I should switch it up because I have been kind of keeping my party the same. And, you know, the banter is epic in Dragon Age. So, by far, I think Dorian, Iron Bull, and Sarah have some of the best banter. Maybe I'm throw Blackwall in there. Okay, what? Why can't I target him? My gosh. <laughs> what is wrong with me? All right. Take care of him. Thank you. Thank you. I've already taken care of him. I'm the maid. You guys are supposed to be protecting me, right? Let's get rid of these guys. Captain. Oh, they owe me damage in there. So I guess this is another, like, hideout. Oh, see, this is exactly what I mean when it comes to... I haven't been, I haven't been doing like I'm supposed to, which is shielding. Uh, I'm a terrible mage. I really am. Okay. Oh. What is this is Oh, see? Just look at this. Well, he, he'll, I don't know why I keep switching to him because he should automatically just drink uh, a health potion unless I only have two okay so Freeman's orders get your men out on the roads and hunt down those inquisition bastards we're losing the emerald graves have you forgotten what we're fighting for everything we do we do for our future and for our land everything I do do it for you. oh villa morale's taken Malefant's gone. We're losing our grip. And someone has the zoomies. What now? The men are starting to bulk, talking about giving up. I love how the game is so um, reactive to what happened. Oh, gosh. R what happens, uh, what I do. Uh, so is she done? I don't know. I don't know if she's done. I don't know. I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, so Goofy in the background with her squeaky toy. She always chooses to <laughs> play with that at the most inconvenient time. Okay. Hadn't played with it all week, but now, now she wants to play with it. All right. Um, so let's grab these. And there was one thing else. Oh, it's a couple things. Oh, it's down here. As we say, no loot gets left behind. But these are all, like, I guess, orders that we've already read. Maybe repeats or whatever. Um, is he, like, the boss? I guess we'll find out. No, he's another captain. Oh. Oh, gosh. Don't. He's targeting me. Get him. Right. Let me uh, shield up. Iron Bull. Cassandra is okay. Oh, yeah, him. Get him. Oh, this. Oh. I mean, I guess I can use my. Yeah, you know what? Use it when we have it. Just use it. <laughs> it's so overpowered. Make quick work of him. So we dealt with him. He's done. He's this done. Is one of the people running around the dales hurting helpless peasants. Yeah, he's one of the people. Oh, what did I just do? What? What did I just do? Are you kidding me? I just wanted <laughs> the game back up. What? Okay, you know what? Uh, so, we're back. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that out because that was such a typical me move right there. That's okay. We'll shield up. Oh, we didn't get... Oh, we didn't get him. Okay. No biggie. No biggie. All right. All right. All right. 
face. Okay, so we're gonna, are we just gonna have to, oh! Iron bolt took one to the face. You know what? Use the rift. The rift. The rift. Back up. Oh, I'm messing. Let's, uh. Yeah, there we go. We can't exactly look around right now. Why don't you drink up? Okay, there we go. Yeah, you said that already. Deja vu. Alright, so we need to look around. Let me just grab this first. Oh. Can you use that? Mysterious Chateau sketch. Uh okay. Alright, so oh, this way, this way, this way, this way. Right here. What do we got? Some more bottles of fetus absence. I'm aware of how to spell it. This bottle only reflects my wish that the current crop of beheaded self-styled cads would disappear. I prefer la fe verte. I know. I don't have a clue. As spirit, not affection. Distiller uh, emerit. <clears throat> excuse me. Emeritus Gavon. 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 I have no idea. I know I'm butchering these names. I know I am. I realize this. I apologize ahead of time for all the names I butcher from now on. Um, so let's have a look, see, see if there's anything else interesting. Doesn't look like there really is. Um, and I do realize that my characters can level up. I'm not going to do any more leveling until I can actually go in and respect their. Um, respect them into their main specs. Anything in here? I'll note. Sir August's message. August, might I remind you, none of us really understand these heathen etchings. We're going as fast as we can. I would add that some of the men are uneasy about the whole thing. You know, the stories of elven curses. This weapon you believe hidden here be better be worth it, Gail. What weapon? What weapon is that about? Oh, this is what happens when you don't play a game in a while. Okay, let's go this way, and then I believe, what do we have over here? Devotion. All right, so we're going to go that way. Um, and then we'll, like, circle back around. So what's this? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, and then to the another, to the other quest. Okay. Um... Grab these. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, if you do not have this game and you want to pick this up, I'm going to have to warn you, like, in advance. The way that this game is working with EA Play and Steam, like, I bought this. I had this on Origins. Then, for some reason, it wasn't working at Origins, I guess, because of EA Play. And then, so, I bought it on Steam without realizing that that was the issue with EA Play and Origin. Now, Steam is, I, it's a whole thing. It's a whole kerfuffle. I don't like it, but it's back on Origin again. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but just in case, I would just go ahead and buy the copy from Steam, when, if there's, like, a Steam sale or something like that, and get, like, the Game of the Year edition and keep it pushing. You may have to download EA Play or Origin or something like that. I have no idea. So what are we taking here? A widow's woe. My Robert died last year, victim to men who once wore the colors of her beloved empress. His remains were burned as our chantry bids, and his last wish was to have his ashes scattered on the plateau that overlooks the Great Wood. But brigands and traitors have taken these woods, and I cannot fulfill his wish. This is as far as I go. But there are good-hearted souls in this world, and I pray the Maker sends us one who may journey where I cannot. Andraste will look well upon one who hears a widow's plea. With broken heart, Widow Karen. Okay, Widow Karen, we, we will be that person. Um, I don't know when we'll get there, but we will get there. Okay, so we completely passed up where we're supposed to claim 
No, it's right here. And then on to the next quest. And then I think what we'll do um, is end it there. But now I have to figure out how to get around these here hills. Can I, should I go back this way? Let me look. Um, so it looks like we can go this way around. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go this way. It's a road. Maybe if I follow the roads, as my grandmother used to say, maybe if I followed those, I would have an easier time navigating this area rather than trying to make my own, <laughs> my own road, own pathway. See right there. Right there. Did we not do this already? Maybe? No? Devotion. Light a candle at the shrine. This is it? Is that what we're doing right here? Place a candle? Okay. Oh, was that for the, the little, the, somebody, I don't know. Quest completed. Wait, whatever it was, we did it. The Lion's Pavilion. The Lion's Pavilion is a welcome rest for weary travelers through the Dales. Its most prominent feature is a statue of muscled Valmont, emperor slaying a dragon, the symbol of the Draken dynasty. The Valmont famed subtlety and grace clearly emerge with later generations. Okay. Um, and what do we have here? Oh, let's light these up. Who knows? Why are you so bloody? Gee whiz. Okay. Uh, what does it take? Okay, what is this? A lover's promise. Elena, if you found this and are still at the pavilion, leave immediately. As I passed, I saw a band of armed men close by. I fear they may attack innocent travelers. Meet me instead in the old grove and grace vine where the prophet's laurel grows. Your love, Dan. I have a feeling... Dan ain't alive anymore. Dan is dead. That's what I feel like. I feel like both of them have been murdered. Um, so I guess we can continue on. I don't know. I thought that was going to be more than that. Let's, let's go to the Sistrarium. You know what? Let's get here. Let's get here and then we'll end it. We'll end it at a campsite. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. And see what else is, what else is, what else? Oh, shoot. Okay. A little rocky. I feel like I'm missing like a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, let me get some of this obsidian. What is over here? Nothing. Nothing. Another road. Oh, is this it? Right here? Yeah. Yep, this is it. All right. All right. I love how these campsites are in these old ruins. So set up camp or keep moving? We're going to set up camp right here. You know what? I just thought about something. Now, we're out here in the Emerald Graves, and you probably don't even know why we're out here. So as the Inquisition progresses through... Um, or as we progress through the Inquisition story, you have to understand that they have become the only um, law enforcing entity in uh, the area. So any like politicians or um, groups of people that need help, they're there to kind of come kind of save the day of sorts. So the Emerald Graves has kind of called them in or at least probably got some intel from um, Liliana's spies that there are some issues going on in the Emerald Graves, being that these free men who have went AWOL from Celine's army are terrorizing the neighborhood, so to speak. They're killing innocent lives or taking innocent lives and... Um, the Inquisition is here to kind of clear those freemen out of the land, but they're also after the Inquisition. 
for whatever reason. I have a feeling that it has to do with the Red Templars, but I was never really quite sure about that. Um, I'm assuming so because the Red Templars showed up after, well, no, they were kind of on to the Inquisition prior to that, but we really didn't see them until after, um, what is this? Oh, until after um, the attack on Haven. So this is another one of these things. Gotcha. All right. Oh, shoot. I'll be honest with you. These are valuable, but kind of annoying to look for. What was, was that one right there? Okay, right there. Um, right there. Oh, gosh. One more, one more, one more. There it is, right? Yep. Boom. Okay. That's it, right? Yeah. Got them all. Okay. Why I do that, I don't know. See, there's one of Liliana's spies. <laughs> she uses ravens. Okay. So, um, let's see. What else do we need to do? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wasn't this a secret? Hold on. Let me grab this. Wasn't this on a map? Hold on. What does that mean? Are those elves? Don't they look like elves? Those are elves with their heads down, heads bent, like they've, like they're defeated or something. I don't know what that, that circle is about. It looks like the sun, but I don't know. Could mean something. I don't, I don't know if there's any lore behind this particular rock, but I thought there was a map of some sort. I know one thing. There's a lot of... Did you hear? The Inquisition ended the war between the mages and Templars. The mages have joined the Inquisition. Only a few of the mad apostates are still fighting. That group of people gets around. They were in the Hinterlands camping out. Now they're, now they're here. Where do you want to go? Now that the mages and the Templars aren't trying to pull each other, we could go back home if you like. I'd rather go somewhere new. Okay. I could have sworn there was something around here, but I guess that's... Oh, no, no, no. No, I guess not. I guess not. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Um, My plan was to actually head over... He no, not over here. I've lost my... Okay, where... This was my plan. But you know what? Let's just go here. A lover's promise. Let's go there. Since we're already going that way. I don't want to backtrack. Um, but I could have sworn there was something about this rock, but I guess I was wrong. It just... Did, did they... No, okay. We just circled back. I was like, did they move their camp? Um, let's get this rift while we're over here. No sense on skipping over the rifts. What level is this rift? Ooh, it's these things! Oh my gosh, I hate these things, I hate these things. This is creepy. Got him. And AoE damage for the win. Oh shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's get this guy over here. Just kind of chilling. Nope, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Not going anywhere. Oh, he might, he might, he might, he might. Oh, no, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. <sighs> the second part of the rift is always the worst. Okay. Now we've got what are these? Um. What are those? Cry demons or something like that. Cry demons. Oh, come on, Iron Bull. Try to get to stay as far away as I possibly can from this guy's whip. All right, Sarah, I think you're a little. No, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. But you can get to the break some. Iron Bull! 
Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Sarah's got a set of tools. Okay, you know what? Let me shield up Iron Bull. Sarah's fine. Or Cassandra's fine. This is why I don't like taking him. He's using all the oh, it's this guy. Oh gosh. Sarah. Get out the way. Okay, let me go. There he is. hate those things. Those wraiths and pride demons. Where is that? Okay, there we go. Also those other things that, um, I don't know what those are called. Whatever those green things are called, I hate those too. They're creepy as all get out. When you get close up to them, ooh, it's your teeth. I don't know what it is about monsters with a lot of teeth that just bother me. Like, it. <laughs> the clown from it all the teeth um let's see uh where are we going okay we're oh we passed it we did what's this yeah lover's promise okay oh well, is this it oh this is it ah! oh my gosh oh it oh gosh This was a setup. The whole setup. This was gross. Is there another one? Oh, it's a nug. She's chasing an egg. Okay. Leave the nug alone. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. It just makes me. So gross. Is this a creature? Is this what that was? Okay. I feel like that was a whole setup though. Um, like we were meant to get eaten by that giant spider. All right, let's see where else are we going? Okay, so we're gonna make it over here to the um the next encampment. And we actually need to report back to the first guy. Let's camp. Um, you want to set up camp? Yeah, I do. Let's do that. All right. So I'm not. I'm not going to give anyone any skill points, just so you know, because when I get back to Skyhold, I'm going to reset everyone's. Um, who am I talking to? Take. What is this? So map of Elgernon's Bastion. Okay. So there's something there. Okay, so I have to keep these maps in mind because when you see those maps or when you get those maps, there's always treasure. It's not always like super valuable, but um, sometimes you can find some like epic and rare. Oh, what's here? Rifts at the Reach. Okay, what's this? Activate fade rifts have been spot. Oh, active. Activate. Really? I can't read. Okay, so these are shards. These are I'm going to do off cam because there's so many. But, um, hmm, trying to think where else we can go here that's close by. There is that Astrium. Okay, so we need to report back to Fairbanks. So let's go ahead and fast travel here, and then I can go ahead and take care of this rift down here and at least clear this, this area out. So we'll be back. Oh, that was quick. Never mind. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Fairbanks. You saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. Okay, so at the beginning of our uh, quest into Emerald Graves, we were supposed to go and release some prisoners, and we did. That one kind of glitched out, but um, plus we've basically taken care of the Freeman in this area. In this area. So let's talk about the Freeman of the Dales. Who are these Freeman of the Dales? 
Most are deserters from the war, tired of fighting and dying for a cause in which they have no stake. But recently, the Freemen have organized, started attacking anyone and everyone. Their new leaders are driving them to take the Dales for themselves. So isn't that pretty typical? So these groups of people, their quest was, in their eyes, benevolent. You know, they, they thought they were right in going AWOL from their duty. Whether you agree with the war or not, if that's what your duty was, if you... Um, I guess in this sense, if they signed up to be in the Valroyo's uh, military, they were to fight for Valroyo. They were to fight for Celine, whether they agreed with it or not. Um, I guess. I mean, that's my opinion in this situation. Um, they went AWOL, though, and they felt like they had no stake. OK, understood. Um, but now they've turned to fight and kill innocent people. Um, which completely goes against why they left in the first place, right? Um, but obviously it's for the greed of their leaders, for whatever reason, whatever their MO is. So, um, yeah, let's talk about the Civil War. What is your opinion of the Civil War? When I quarrel with my cousin, wine is spilled. Perhaps someone loses a tooth. When Celine feuds with hers, a country is torn apart. Mm. Does it oh, matter to right. a farmer or a woodsman who reigns in Val Royale? Yet they suffer. We're all weary, Inquisitor. Okay, so let me rewind my train of thought. So with this particular war, Celine is actually in civil war against her siblings. And I guess a sibling maybe, and maybe a relative, a close relative. Reason being is that there is a fight over who is the rightful king or queen or emperor or empress, right? Um, so she's been in battle with, I think it's her, her brother or her cousin or something like that. And he feels like he has rights to the throne. She feels like she's the rightful empress. And then there's someone else in the background that also feels that they have rights. I'm not really sure about that. But that's what's going on here. So I do kind of have a clearer understanding of why these men went AWOL because they feel like this is a, a quarrel between family members that they have. I mean, it still affects them, but I get it, too. Like they have no. Like this is not this isn't about them at all. Right. This isn't about their freedoms at all. This is about two or three spoiled people fighting over a crown. But it probably runs deeper than that. But that's just my initial thought. Okay. Tell me about your people. Simple people. Most have lost family. All have lost their homes. I found a few, helped them, found this cave for shelter. Word spread and more came. We just want to survive. Okay. I need to be going. Good day then. All right. Um, okay, so where are we at now? We have victims of war with all the Freeman leaders dead. Fairbanks and his people should feel a lot safer in the Emerald Graves. So do we need to talk to him again? Yeah. Any news, Inquisitor? Yeah. The Freeman have been defeated. They hurt so many of my people. Now it's finally over. Thank you. You're welcome. And perhaps with the Freeman gone, we can find a proper home. Algon's Lodge was always well situated. Inquisitor. What else do we want to know? Okay, we're done. We've, we've spoken to I him to about everything. Be safe. Okay, now, was there anything else that we needed to do here? There's a question mark here. I don't know what that's about. Is that in the camp? Okay, it looks like there is. Okay, so, Clara. Yes, thank you. I've little to give, but I've okay, always been talk to her. Inquisitor, you saved Gertrude and the others. Thank you so much. Uh, this is bold of me, but if I could have a moment. Okay, what do you need? I'm here. What do you need? This... This is about Fairbanks. There is a rumor that he is of noble blood. Once the war That's is over, many of us will return to serve our lords, to work our fields, raise their brats. And most of the aristocracy know little of the lives of commoners. They care nothing for us. Fairbanks is different. He's a great man. 
There is much he could do if he had the power. If the rumor is true, if Fairbanks is noble and we have proof, do you see what I'm saying? Hmm. So let's see. Has Fairbanks heard the rumor? Yeah. Does Fairbanks know about this rumor? Uh, he doesn't like it, and he won't let me discuss it. Stubborn ass. Okay. So. Tell me a little bit more about him. What else do you know about Fairbanks? He is a good man. He found us when we most needed him. He kept us safe. He doesn't like to talk about himself, so I... I actually don't know much about him. Hmm, okay. So tell me about the people here. I'd like to know more about you and the rest of the people here. Most of us are simple folk. Farmers, fishermen. Oh, Jolene over there is a smith. Jolene, Just Jolene. Just trying to escape the Sorry. war. Um, so this rumor you mentioned? This rumor about Fairbanks being noble. What do you want me to do about it? Oh, I... I don't mean to impose, but... You travel all over the dance, don't you? Perhaps if you found something that could help. I've written everything I know in my journal. You can look at it. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I guess this is the journal here. Clara's journal. Clara writes mainly about life at Watcher's Reach. Her curiosity about Fairbanks is interspersed between details, descriptions of foraging excursions. Watcher's Reach, day 30. I saw Fairbanks looking at an old gold medallion as I walked past him. It bore the image of some kind of bird and the motto to the sun on blessed wings. Odd. Watcher's Reach, day 51. The old... Elf Calder has such stories. He talks about how Fairbanks helped people even before the war. Calder says there's some one or there's some who think Fairbanks is actually of noble blood, not a commoner like he claims. I wonder if that has anything to do with the medallion. Watchers Reach, day 52. I pestered Calder some more. To make me stop asking, he told me the story of the Mar family. Lord Giru? Giro Lamar, I don't know, only uh, his only daughter fell in love with a Chevrolet <laughs> with a Dodge. I don't know. <laughs> she, I don't know that word. I had it in my head before, but whatever. You know what I mean. In the service of Lord Giro's enemy and ended up with his child. Lord Giro was furious and turned Bernice out of their home, then had her lover assassinated. Awful. This story sounds familiar. It does. Okay. But I won't I won't give any spoilers just in case I decide to Okay, never mind. Bernice never returned to her father and fled to the Dales. Her child was stillborn, but Lord Giro eventually re regretted what he had done and on his deathbed left all lands and titles to her and all her offspring. Hmm. Why would he have done that if he was certain the child died? Watchers reach day fifty six. I can't stop thinking about it. What if Fairbanks is really Lamar's baby, Lam Lamar, the Lamar baby? Imagine all the good he could do if he was noble and inherited that fortune. But having him reinstated will take proof. After all I've heard about the Council of Heralds, there can be no doubt. Maybe the medallion? But anyone could have a trinket like that. There could be something here in the Dales that could help me prove it. But I wouldn't know where to start. As if I would. Okay, um, okay, we did that already. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, okay, so this is, what is this? Noble D, okay, so, okay, so this, is there, okay, so this is gonna take me all across the, uh, the dales here, okay, um, We'll go here first. We'll, we'll hit up this part here. And then I know that was kind of long, but I think it was important to read all that considering it's part of the quest line. But um, maybe I should uh, <laughs> maybe I should give other pieces of lore that much more attention. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, she died slow. What? Oh, um, the Cousteau. Yeah. Okay, old man. Move out the way, please. Thank you. Trying to trying to get some of this ghost mushroom. 
or deep rose mushroom or whatever it's called. All right, let me go this way. Yeah, okay. So that's interesting. If he, indeed Fairbanks is draw the Red Templar Lieutenant operation available. Oh, that's something I need to do is the um, war table. Pay more attention to what? We should search the area. Okay. So it's obviously in here. Okay. Uh, oh, we're going to need... Can I go through here? So I don't need a key. Okay. What is this? All right, let's see. A midwife's journal. This time-worn diary was found amongst more valuable items. It's bound in leather and has a solid silver trim, which might be why it was saved. A few entries can still be made out. 16 herring, 9-8. This has been the coldest winter I can remember. Even the river is frozen. No one should be out there, not in this blizzard. So you can imagine my surprise when there was a knock on my gate. A young woman. She's looking for the Fairbanks Cottage. I go out. I say to her, nothing fair about this weather, but yes, you are at the right place. She throws back her cloak, and I see she is heavy, less than two weeks away. Please help. She's almost in tears. I bring her into the house and set her by the fire with some tea and slippers. She is young, not more than 20. Her hands are smooth. They have not seen a day of work in her life. Her clothes are travel-stained, but fine. The cloak must be worth at least 50 royals. Beautiful, blue, trimmed with fox fur. Her name is Bernice, but she won't say more. Many girls come here not wanting to say who they are. I understand. Bernice has had the baby, a boy, healthy, full head of hair. She named him Everest. She tried to pay me with heavy gold locket, a falcon on its face. I asked her what it was. It looks valuable. She says it's her father's, and she doesn't care to have it anymore. I tell her she might not, but her son might one day want to know where he's from. A new year. Bernice should be healthy enough to leave, but it's still cold, and I just cannot turn her out. I will ask her to stay and be my assistant. I have needed help for a while. My fingers are not as nimble as they used to be. Clever girl. She will make a fine apprentice. So it sounds like this person, uh, this woman, this young girl, ran away. Um, and from what we gather, she was impregnated by a, by, I guess, someone that her father did not approve of. And so she ran away. Um, we went in here already, didn't we not? Yeah, we were in here already. So what is this? This is... Okay, we'll go this way. So she ended up staying, maybe, to become an apprentice of some sort. Okay, so it's this way. It's this way? Oh, artwork. Okay. An old painting. An old painting in a carved wooden frame. Paint has rubbed off in some places carved into the back of the frame. Lord Giro Lamar, the portrait shows the Lord as he must looked over as he must looked over 40 years ago. He bears a striking resemblance to Fairbanks. If I could get a closer look at that. Um, I will be the judge of that. Let's see right here or here. So we're way over here. So we're going to fast travel here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh, great. Oh, I was going to say, oh, great. These guys are back. Oh, so they finally, they moved over here. Nice. Quick move. Is that the girl we were talking to before? No, that, that's not her. This is it right here. Okay, it is here. Okay. I kind of feel kind of weird snooping around while these people are, like, standing here. Um, ooh, there's loot we missed. How did we miss this? All right. Uh, it's out here, then? Okay, no, it's in here. What? Are you guys in the way? What? Okay, wait. Is it over here? Oh, it's another door. Of course. Sarah, come here. 
Unlock this door, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, so the painting? Nope. Book. Whoops. Orlay, Heraldry and Symbolism. This book offers a comprehensive look of the well known noble bloodlines of Orlay. Of interest are a few lines in the entry on the house of Lamarck. Amis de Lamarck. Oh, I wish I knew French. Established this ancient house in the time of Emperor. Cordelius, Draken, Draken. Sadly, the bloodline ended with the Lord Giro Lamar, who disowned his only daughter, Bernice. The shield of Lamar bears a falcon volant on a field of sky blue and gold. The house's motto is to the sun on blessed wings. Okay, what's this? The Perindale War. Not many people take the road west into Perindale for the sake of pleasure. Few living things inhabit the rocky countryside, save for silver miners, wyverns, and an astoundingly pugnacious breed of mountain goat. In far-off days, the mountains around the city were full of dragons, and perhaps this was the first brought it. This was what first brought it to the attention of the Pentag the Pentagast kings. Ah. Cassandra. Certainly, it was not the goats. Although the region has belonged to Navarra since the late Blessed Age, travelers here will find much that reminds them of a, a provincial or Elysian town. A great, great carving depicting the lion slay the dragon, slaying the dragon, adorns the Perindel's gate. Many Elysian lions decorate the city's buildings, and there are still many citizens who cling to the hope that the Empress will restore the city to the Empire. Historians mostly agree that it is it was not the dragons, nor the silver, and certainly not the goats that began centuries of warfare between Orlais and Navarra. It was Emperor Etienne Valmont and the Pentagas. In seven eighty two storm, the Pentagas family, fresh in the throne, again for the first time in generations, and eager to build up the alliances lost by Van Markham dynasty approached the emperor to solidify a peace treaty through marriage. The emperor, who was under great pressure to produce an heir, set aside his empress of 17 years and wed Princess Soteria Pentagas, theoretically cementing a promise of peace and cooperation between Navarra and Orlais. Promises are hard to keep. By 797 storm, Soteria was still childless, and the emperor sent her to a cloister so that he might marry his mistress, which is probably the lady that he was originally supposed to marry. As anyone other than Entine might have predicted, the Navarans took it this poorly. Angry letters arrived in the imperial palace by the cartload. A small war party of Pentagas rode into Orlais and reclaimed Princess Soteria. But the Navarans did not take military action yet. They were strategists and knew to buy their time. In 846 Blessed, while most of the Orlesian army was committed to a war in Ferelden, the Pentagas began their war against Orlais. The Orlesians rallied a defense and drove the Navarans from Guilain in Arlesians, but at the cost of much of their northern territory. Perindel was lost and never recovered. A lingering sign that peace between the two nations was impossible. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's loot this. And then... Belts of Health. Okay, that may be with something to do with our quest. All right, so we can probably return to... Oh, there's more. Okay. Ah, okay. So maybe they did move here back. Are they moved here already or something? Uh, oh, what is this? Loot I missed? Yeah. Sir August is dead. If this continues, we will lose everything we worked for. We must do something. Send out send out all the men, everyone who can fight. I'm headed to the Exalted Plains. There are still some freemen hiding out there. We can regroup, Emery. So this isn't over, which I kind of figured. The freemen in this area have been... Uh, dispensed of, but they have dispersed to other areas. One of which being the Exalted Plains. Who, who is it? You're smirking you? again, like in that fight before. What's so funny? The simplest spell had you white as a sheet. 
I've shrugged off worse in practice. Well, sorry I'm scared of the stuff I've been warned about my whole life, like most people who aren't seekers. I apologize. I could help if you're willing. <laughs> no, I have things to do. You can help by standing in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> that I can do. Okay, so she's afraid of magic. Okay, Clara, let's talk to her. Clara, I found proof. You were right. Fairbanks is noble by birth. Fairbanks is not even his real name. Let me see. Evariste Lemarque. I knew it from the start. Evariste Lemarque. I know just who to give this to. This will be enough to make the council sit up and take notes. I'll send this on as soon as possible. Thank you, Inquisitor. You're welcome. Okay, so Sarah disapproved of that. One, I guess one reason might be that Sarah doesn't... The will always be welcome here. Thank you. Sarah has an issue with um, no nobility. Um, in all, I guess in, in every sense of the word. So I guess she has a, a problem with me maybe um, sticking my nose in business that I had. Or maybe this guy wants to live as a commoner, let him live as a commoner. And she's perfectly fine with that. I mean, to me, that's kind of an elitist attitude as well. Whether she thinks the uh, nobil no nobility, um, the nobility are elitist. I think that thinking, too, is kind of elitist. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. All right. We're going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I don't know where else we can go with Fairbanks. But I think what I might do is off camera clear out some of these um, shards and rifts. And um, I do still want to check this motherly encouragement out. And I think that might be it. I No, no, there's still this here. Yeah, there's still this here. So I definitely want to get out there and then, but I want to get this cleared out. What I might do is kind of do a montage of me clearing things out. And um, yeah, then we'll go from there. So, all right, guys, that's going to end it for me the emerald graves at this point and of course like i said we'll come back and clear out some of the other quests um since we have removed the freeman i think the next um area we're going to open up might be let me just look at the world map real quick uh i think we have to open it up yeah we do all right yeah we have to open it up so we won't go there yet also i kind of want to go into the um I forget what that place is called, but it's just like a little side area where we can and shop for uh, rare goods and things like that. So we'll go there so you guys can see that. But anyways, um, I hope you're enjoying the series and um, I will continue on next time. Oh, real quick. I will be uploading Dragon Age from now on on Friday uh, evenings rather than during the week because I figured um, we should have a set date for Dragon Age. Friday seems the best for me personally, um, and I will try to have that ready for you guys Friday nights. Um, I haven't decided when. I'm probably about 6.15 or something like that. Maybe, maybe a little earlier. I don't know. That might be a little late. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Until next time, ciao.